You're tuned to the 4ZZZ Anarchy Show on 102.1 FM or streaming on 4ZZZFM.org.au. In a democracy, the ignorant and meddlesome outsiders, the general population have to be kept from interfering. They can be spectators but not participants. Spectators but not participants. Spectators but not participants. <laughs> When I, when I look at the the progress of this uh, this now global movement uh, to occupy places like uh, Wall Street and other other places, and now we in our own backyard we have this bill towards occupying Brisbane. I look at it in the in the context of, of uh, the Aboriginal political struggle uh, since this day one of the white invasion. Uh, there's been a long long litany of, of, uh, of massacres, hunts, uh, where Aboriginal people have been brutalised, terrorised, slaughtered on the frontiers, and they're forcibly removed from traditional lands. So right through the 1700s, 1800s, 1900s, the, high, the highest points of our struggle uh, have been when our elders have led people back onto traditional countries and reoccupied traditional lands. Um, so Aboriginal people, uh, we before... James Cook and, and Governor Phillip arrived. There were, there were 500 Aboriginal tribal nations across this entire continent, uh, a national population of, of 3.5 million people. And we had uh, very strong connections, bonds, cultural, uh, you know, cultural connections to our traditional lands. And so when we move back on a country and reoccupy our traditional lands, there's a very deep... Uh, cultural and spiritual process behind, behind that. Um, e even through to today, even, even 2011, our people are still prefer to be buried on their tribal lands because of uh, to close that, close that spiritual circle. So uh, if people are going to reoccupy land or occupy land country, then I'd like to see that they do have some higher bond, higher connection to, the, to that country rather than uh, something that's expressed through political speak or through materialism. It's again it's, you know, that, that concept of, of ownership, and uh, that's something that's quite alien to within Aboriginal spirituality. So we we see ourselves as as the human element within those eternal cycles. We don't see ourselves as being the the dominant exclusive element uh, to to cause harm to to other living things. So and that that's important because uh, at day one. Of the white invasion back in uh, back in 1788, this entire land was in quite pristine condition. Uh, the ecology is very very healthy, and yet look at it now that that causes Aboriginal elders and senior people right across the, the, the nations to feel very very concerned about what is happening to to country. Uh, we're looking at the the damage being done by the miners, the damage being done by the the farmers. I mean, recently we went to uh, to North Queensland, and there are those thousands of acres of, uh, of, of sugarcane farm that just every, and every rainfall just flushes these truckloads of poisonous toxins into the barrier reef uh, and these are very sacred, very pristine, very fragile dreaming sites and uh, we, we are living on, on, in, a, in a country that is under enormous pressure at the moment and yet the Gillard government are uh, at the behest of the the miners and the and the resource people, are uh, continue to uh, continue to attack and despoil and and ship off uh, massive amounts of our sacred lands, and, and that has to stop. We'll get right into this after this very very important message. So listen very carefully. Anarchism is not bombs, disorder, or chaos. It is not robbery or murder. It is not a war of each against all. Anarchism is the very opposite of all that. Find out for yourself. Tune in to the 4 Z Anarchy Show on Monday from 12 to 1 p.m.